I'm all right, man. As good as I could be. Condolences, my brother. I see what you have on the timeline, man. Yeah, appreciate you know what it. I mean? appreciate How you holding up, though? I'm good, man. The family tried, you know, family good. We got each other. Was that a family? Was that a family member of yours, or what was that? Um, that was yeah, blood, that was right? my, uh, yeah, that was my cousin. You know what I mean? Like, um, but you know, we, we got a group of cousins. We grew up like brothers. You know what I mean? Right. Like, so mm -hmm. it's either they at our house or we at their house, and this is every week, mm -hmm. every day. You know what I'm saying? Right. From diapers all the way up until you know what I mean. We I started like rapping that. together and shit like that. So, um. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you know what I mean? So this is this is like, you know what I mean? I feel like I lost a brother. I did. You know what I mean? We cousins, but, you know, that was a brother. Cousins are like second brothers almost, like, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. My grandmother had my grandmother had all my cousins wearing the same clothes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Right. So, yeah. Yeah. We grew up tight, man. Brother. We grew up tight. Like, just as much right. as, you know what I mean? I was around my brothers. I was around them. You know mm. what I mean? It's like, you know what I mean? Shit like that. So, yeah. Right, right, right. John, man, let's talk, man. April 26, man. Um, Friday, um, ATL, bullpen are back outside. I feel like once or twice a year, y'all just give us a card where it's like it's either a dope card or two cards. We're talking about bullpen gave us a classic card, man. man. Um, on a Friday, John, that's what we doing. Yeah, it's tough, man. It's tough. Like I, I don't, I don't prefer Friday events. Um, right. But for this particular weekend, it made sense. You got Geechee on Sunday. You yes. know what I mean? So it wouldn't have made it wouldn't have made sense to throw an event on that Saturday and then have everybody mm -hmm. rushing like back to back type shit. So it made sense for that Friday. But also though, I'm partnered up with uh something called the Black Male Voter Project. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I teamed up with a um with a mayor out in North Carolina. You know what I mean? So he got he got this movement called the Black Male Voter Project. Um, you know, trying to push more black men to vote because we are mm -hmm. affected the most by the politics. But mm -hmm. we we don't we don't put our hand in it because mm -hmm. you know what I mean the the majority of not the, the majority of non voters are mainly black males you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying like um but we are the most affected by it so it's just more so you know what I mean putting that on notice that more black men should vote to have you know a hand mm -hmm. in what's going on in politics. <laughs> So where do they come into battle rap though? How does this? How does the, politics as usual, right? Is that is that politics as usual? So, so shout out to Jay Z. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's it's two parts to that. So one, the dude that run the Black Male Voter Project, shout out to uh, Mondale Robinson. Mm -hmm. He's a heavy battle rap fan. You know okay. what I mean? Like I'm talking about from major leagues to small leagues. He's not one of them fans that just watch. The big names, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, he right, watch, right. he watch everything. Um, but you know, like analytically, you know what I mean? Uh he noticed, you know, uh battle rap is predominantly black males. Would, would mm -hmm. you agree? You know what I mean? And yeah, absolutely. majority majority of, of the fan base is too, you know what I mean? So I feel like you know, the culture getting behind a movement like this will be big, you know what I mean? So right. and he know he knew that, you know, he doesn't know much about battle rap he's just a fan so he's trusting in me you know what i mean my resources my knowledge of, of, of the culture and everything like mm -hmm. that to really handle that side of it so that's mm -hmm. how that's how i really came about um but yeah but shout out to him man did it surprise you when you got a phone call and you haven't having this discussion about battle rap with politicians did that kind of like throw you for a loop though uh, yeah i mean i mean kind of because Truth be told, this was a situation. He was planning on doing a whole battle rap event. Um, he had a whole situation in play, trying to get things in play. And you know, he calling around, asking because he knows. And that's one thing I could respect about a lot of people when they know that they don't know something. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, cause people will come in just watching from the outside, looking in, and think, "Oh, I could do that. That's easy." Ah, 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 ah. He done spoke to battle rappers. He done spoke to leagues. He yeah, done he spoke should. to everybody you know what i mean and it wasn't until he had the conversation with me where he was like convinced okay this mm -hmm. is who i need to be working with mm -hmm. um but i heard about the situation before i got involved but um it was somebody that was in the situation that kept pushing like yo we need john john we need john john we need john john you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so i uh-oh uh-oh 
Let me get John in there. Hold on. I mean, John, you good? Yeah, you yeah, good, yeah. You good, you good. Yeah, I said, yeah, after the conversation, he trusted that, you know, he wanted to put the ball in my hands. You know what I mean? So, um, mm -hmm. yeah, I was definitely surprised, but, you know, it's time. You know what I mean? And I feel like for what he's trying to do, I'm the perfect person to, to, to you know what I mean, to, to facilitate this. And, you know, I'm going to do everything I could to make this. I see a lot of people saying this on paper, you know, the card of the year so far, but fuck that on paper shit. Fuck that on paper shit. We need the event of the year. Like, you know what I'm saying? All that is cool, three. I'm a realist, man. Like, you know what I mean? I, 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 I know what we got on paper. On paper, yeah, it's crazy. It's phenomenal, but... Just imagine with the names that we got, if everybody show, you know what I mean, the talent that we know them for, what kind of card are we going to get? Mm. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. just need everybody to tune in, have that energy up, whatever. If you could be in the building, be there. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get everybody out. Pay-per-view, right? Right. Okay. Now, let's talk about some of these matches right quick. Now, dog, I got to be honest. Twerk and Clone? Crazy. Son. Crazy. Son. Crazy. Throw the pin, three. Throw the pin. Yeah, that, that talk is close. Yo, I'm, that talk is close, yo, dog. I'm, I'm, respect to you and Calico, mm -hmm. but I got talk and clone as battle of the night, fam. Mm -hmm. I ain't mad at that. I, I, I do. Now, hold on. Let me ask you a question. These matches, right? Before I talk more about these matches, is it more of you booking these matches or you and battle rappers coming together to try to make these matches work? How does this work? I mean, <sighs> mainly... Should be told me and Bad News put the card together. Shout out Bad News too. Shout out my guy Bad News, man. Carolina, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, me and Bad News put the card together. Like I said, before I got involved, there was a whole nother situation and in, in play. Mm -hmm. And my personal opinion, the card was everywhere. It was all over the place. And like, you know what I mean? Matchups that was just whatever. Like I like, but you know, he was coming in, he didn't really know. Like, you know what I mean? Right. You know what's going mm -hmm. on. So um, mm -hmm. you know, once I got involved. It was uh, you know, me and News was just shooting back and forth matchups and shit like that. So um, and then we, we presented it to him and mm -hmm. it's it's up. You know what I mean? So yeah, I gotta I gotta give some some credit to news on that. <clears throat> Shout out news. So so for the people that don't know, John John dropped the card this morning. We got mm -hmm. Twerk versus Clone. We got John John versus Calico. I'm gonna talk about that in a minute. Gritty versus Super Black. Shout out Super Black, man. Uh we got T Top versus Chef Trez, right? Mm -hmm. That's some spit that eight type day. I, I like that one right there. Arsenal versus Bad News right. and Loso versus Tay Rock. Right. Crazy. Right, let's go right quick. Let's go right quick. <laughs> you and Calico, how many times has that been spoken about behind the scenes that we don't know about for you and Cal? Uh, I want to say maybe twice. It okay. was spoke about the summer madness that Calico battled easy. It was like a weird triangle thing going on there. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, it was either me and Calico. It was either me and Easy or Calico and Easy. You know what I mean? It was a lot of back and forth. But then once it got too soon for me, I just took myself out the equation. Like, I, you know what I mean? I just took myself out the shit. Um, and then Calico and Easy happened. And it was another time it got mentioned. Um, but there was no real steps to it. There was no real steps to it. If I felt like it was real steps to it getting booked, I wouldn't have booked it myself. Right, 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 right. Um, Gwydia is super black, man. I, I can this be a very entertaining battle? I, listen, one thing you know about Gwydia, he's going to promote this card hard. You, I, I, I see, I see y'all not familiar with super black. Don't worry, stay tuned. <laughs> Don't worry. Y'all think Gwitty is the only promoter? Stay tuned. <laughs> Super, Black, people, Black, is, Super Black is about to light y'all timelines up. <laughs> he's gonna find y'all on Facebook. He's gonna he's gonna pop up everywhere. I love this matchup. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I love this matchup. Uh, I wasn't thinking about it. This this is one of the matchups that news brought to me. And I okay. said, yo, okay, okay. This is crazy. You know what I'm saying? I looked at it like this is crazy. Like, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? The face off with them is gonna be crazy. Yeah, the face off the promo, yeah, yeah. everything. And the battle is gonna be fire too, because these are two niggas that's so confident they don't think they ever lost. We could watch a battle with them niggas getting cooked, and they will talk to you <laughs> with all the confidence in the world like they didn't lose. And Yo, I love I'm that. So pretty, <laughs> You're so Yo, I love it though. You know what I'm saying? I love it. Oh, um, mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, 
I'm gonna make this. I, I tweeted. I said this might be my favorite battle on the card, low key. Oh, Gritty is. <laughs> yeah, because everybody gonna overlook it like it ain't that. I'm like, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Now, T Drop and Chef, is that a battle for the South? For sure. And that makes that's that's so bullpenish. Can I say yeah, that? Yeah, bullpen yeah, vibe? Yeah, yeah, bullpen yeah. spit that heat. Got spit that yeah. heat history. Absolutely. Um, you know, they came up. Uh they came up together essentially. You know what I mean? Started out essentially. Mm -hmm. So there's a whole story there. You know what I mean? There's a whole story. And the yeah. thing I like about this battle is yeah, they've been around each other and you know what I mean? They do got a relationship with, with each other, but they are both competitive. And this is a situation where T Top is like, nah, little bro, like this ain't that. And, and, and Chef is like, I'm not little bro. <laughs> number three, like, number three and Cody last year, John. Number, number three, three and Cody number last year. Three. Yeah, so this is this is one that they both excited for. They both they really see it coming, but mm. they both they both locked in for that. They 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 know what type of event this is, man. Everybody know, man. And you know it's interesting though. You and Bad News are behind the scenes in this, but I'm I'm glad both you brothers are actually on this card. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. How important was it for you and News to be? Was that was that something that had to happen though? You and News had to be on this card. Um. Not necessarily, but you know, when you when you want to do a bu a big bullpen card, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. It's like it, it, it's only right, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? But um, but like I said, yeah, this is this this situation was was news play. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You know, Mondale reached out to news. You know, North Carolina. Like I'm saying, yes. he's a he's a big fan of news, so it ain't like he just following the. And news was the one was like, yo, we need John John to facilitate. Shout out to news. Shout out to news for doing. Shout, shout out, out to news. news. You know what I mean? News, so, yeah. So you know, what also, mean? I like this one too, John. I love it. I love it. I love it. I thought about that battle. Um, probably like a year or two years ago. I was just waiting for the right time to make it happen for real. Um, yeah, can I go on record and say twerking clone and also the bad news in terms of energy? Those are energy battles. Can I can I, can I go in that bad? I mean, how how you gonna say that and not say Tay Rock and Loso not energy? I'm about to go in there in two in a minute, though, sir. You know what I'm saying? Gwitty, Gwitty and Super Black is energy, mm. high energy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, but yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Like, clone and twerk. Sure. All right, um, let me let me ask you this: Loso and Rock, right? Should there be concerns across the board to the culture, league owners, all of us, Loso, Tay Rock? All of us, because I saw you have an exchange on Twitter with somebody on the new podcast, and they were saying Tay Rock got three battles in two weeks, Geechee got two battles in two weeks, Calico got battles in two weeks, Loso two battles in one weekend, Chef Tres two battles in one week. Mm -hmm. Any concerns at all that you know it's a lot, you know, especially Tay Rock and Lo Rock is wilding right now. Um, he uh, wilding, he wilding, he's but is he dropping the right ball? Now. Is he dropping the ball? No, he's not. No. Does, 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 it look, does it look like he's slowing down? I can't say that. I can't say that. It looks like this is that. turning him up. It looks like he's in a zone. So when you're in a certain zone like that, mm -hmm. you got to keep it going while that zone is going. So it's it's like when you're in the zone, you could do certain shit. But I'm not concerned because of who's doing it. Okay. You get what I'm saying? I'm not concerned because I, I feel like Tay Rock can pull this off. Chef Trez for sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. Loso, this is going to be tough for Loso. I'm, I'm glad you're keeping it up. I know you always keep it honey with me, but that's a yeah, yeah, Loso. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's on that class, but, you know, I spoke to Loso. And he understands, like. He understands the assignment? This, he really this, understands? This, is a, this is a chance to make history, bro. Like, he's about to battle. Not, he's not just battling twice in the same weekend. He's battling Tay Rock and Geechee. Two faces of battle rap. I don't wish that on nobody, John. I don't wish that Me on nobody. Me neither. I'm gonna keep Me it tough. Me neither. <laughs> but what they say, God give us is, is toughest <laughs> challenges <laughs> to his toughest warriors. <laughs> this is divine right here. Oh also, man, he know he got he know man he know he locked in man because like I said, I told him this. I said this is tough, but. If you pull it off, imagine how you're gonna feel. Imagine the feedback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine how you're gonna be revered and regarded for for getting past Tay Rock. And don't let them beat both of them niggas. Like, I'm, I'm about to go in that bag. If Loso dog, imagine if Loso hypothetically beats Tay Rock and Geechee Gotti. Come on, man. Come on, man. All in three a, rounds in a weekend. In a weekend. 
Two right. three round battles, man. And three round, yo, fam. Well, on the flip side, what if he loses two battles, or John? I gotta go on the flip side. I gotta be this guy. Yeah, also, you my brother. I love you though, so you know that. But yeah. man, that's a tough order right there, brother. Yeah, yeah. Right there, but, you know, is... people just gonna be like, yo, he shouldn't have took them two battles in that weekend. It would that would, that would be the conversation. Yeah. You know what yes. I mean? So. I'm about to um, holler Loso, man. I'm about to holler Loso. It's, it's um, tough. It's tough. You said on, on the whole culture is with us. And you, you tweeted out, you said um, you want the whole culture out. What does that really mean? You want the whole culture out, though, John? I, 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 want, I, want, I want everybody out. Like, there, there, there's important <laughs> voices um, in the culture. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Important personalities in the culture. Mm. And everybody doesn't get a chance to be outside all at once. I feel like that's needed for the culture like mm. to feel like a community let's get everybody there you know what i mean so mm. i've been reaching out to personally get the people in the building you need help to get mm. here because that's that's the that's the most important part like we we all talk about battle rap you know at different times watching it from the comforts of our own home like right. you might go to a couple events but mm. you might gotta miss this one Absolutely, miss Absolutely. that one or mm -hmm. certain things. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. this come, it, it becomes financially taxing. Uh -huh. It does. Like th these days, it's expensive to be a battle rap fan. It is. Plane, room, rental car, like your dog. No. Come on, man. So it's like, oh, like yo, that's a lot. If, you, if you're gonna if you're gonna come out, I'm trying to help alleviate that headache. So imagine you could be a fan without the headache. So right. that experience is gonna be different when you go back and you talk about what mm -hmm. happened. It's gonna right. feel you're gonna get a different kind of excitement. I have a venue connected to the hotel. You don't even have to leave your hotel. To go to the venue. Wow, John, that's dope. That's fire. The parking niggas, garage is niggas, awesome. niggas used to be like, okay, I'm gonna get a hotel and then the venue. That's what niggas used to be doing. So you ain't gotta worry about travel if you come, oh, and, it's, and it's right on Peachtree Street. So you could go get something to eat. You could walk. You don't even need to get a oh. rental car. Wow, wow. You know what I'm that's saying? So like we got, smart. we got rooms. We got rooms booked at the Westin. This is a good hotel. This is not no bullshit. You go to the wow. seventh floor of the Westin. You go to a side door. It's connected to, to the, to the venue. You know what I'm wow. saying? With a parking garage in there too, if you want to drive. So, the parking is is good. You know what I mean? It's the, the 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 location is great. Everything is great. So, we're just trying to provide a real live experience without the headaches and hassles. I feel mm. like that's that's what we need. I know them. This sounds like not, not not the Million Man March, but it sounds like a Million Man trying to gather and trying to get the whole culture. Together. Yeah, My yeah, yeah. That's, yeah that's, that's, the, that's the plan, man. That's you know what I mean. Yeah. Just to get everybody on that on a real positive battle rap tip. It's been a lot of weird shit going yes. on and energy yeah. shifted to other shit. Like I, I you know, I'm I, even when everybody comes, I don't care who you got a problem with or whatever. Leave that in the door. We're not coming in for that. We're not coming in for that. We're not coming in for that. So yeah. Are we expecting a lot of important people in the building? It sounds like it's going to be all oh, for people. sure. That's what it sounds like when oh, I spoke to you up here. When you, know, when you and I was conversating, it sounds like when you oh, talking to sure. me that some some big wigs. Oh <laughs> yeah, for, oh for <laughs> sure. You, know, man. you see, we got Hitman hosting. Shout out to Hollow hosting. I, you know, he's shout, a great yeah. yeah, you know yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, I'm saying. Shout out to bro, just to make sure, like, nigga, you gonna be here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Everybody needs to be here. League owners, league owners gonna be in the building. Every media, everybody is going to be there. That's dope, John. That's dope. We need something like this, brother. I like what you when I spoke to you off here, it just sounded to me when you're talking to me, it came up like you're trying to gather everybody together. Right, right. I've already right. told people saying we're trying to gather make an event with I mean it's for the culture, but you put a lot of emphasis in the conversation that. For the culture, you kept telling me the culture to come out. You want yes. me to come out. You want this to come out. Yes. So I see where you're going with that and everything, man. Yes. You know what I mean? So that's yes. dope, man. Yes. So April 26, right? April 26, man. The stream gonna start at 6 p.m. How much? Price yet? Oh, what the pay per view? Yeah. 45. 45. Okay. 45. Um, last question: Are you paying attention to trends and have you got your eyes yes. on that? Yes, I am. I like that a lot. I like that on bullpen. I ain't gonna hold you. I haven't been on bullpen numerous times, and you know, Chef is just family. He's on family over there. So I've like, been asking for bad news, man. Wow, I, I do have the bad news though. 
Ever, my bad, Trez. I do like Avin. <laughs> hey, Trez, I like you, my dude. But I do ever, like ever asking for news, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? If it wasn't Austin, it probably would have been Avin news on this card. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, but, you know, Avin, Austin. I mean, uh, Austin, Austin news is... That's wild. You know what I'm saying? As a league owner, do you like when you have an event close to another another um, event going on? Like, is, is it the riot versus bullpen? Like, when a couple weeks ago, there was like four or five league, um, events going on at one time. As a battle rap fan, I don't like that. I could do two, but three or four, my nigga, nah, man. Nah, yeah, I, I don't like it either. I don't like it either. You know what I'm saying? Um, the only reason why it happened like that, like with, with, with bullpen and the riot being in the same mm -hmm. week, because that was the date I was given. You know what I mean for the right. event because there would be a conference on the 24th and the 25th for the Black right. Male Voter Project. Right. So it all connects to it. Mm. But that's why it's happening on on a Friday. You know what I mean? And also right. because you know Geechee right. got the game on the Saturday right. and everything too. Geechee well, gonna be in the building. Geechee pulling right. up. Yeah, you know Geechee. You Geechee support niggas. Geechee support everybody. Yeah, you know that. Yeah, yeah, Geechee yeah, pulling man. up, man, and I'm gonna go to the riot. So this is what we're doing. You support niggas too. Um. Bullpen versus trenches. Um, it seemed like that set up a lot of shit. Now I've seen a lot of <laughs> a lot of things going on in these streets, though, fam. Whereas the trenches versus uh, the bricks. Now I'm seeing. I mean, uh, uh, you, do you like? Do we need more of those though? Because I did like it when y'all did that. Though. I did enjoy that. I mean, though. yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it's it's good. It's good for the coaches. Good for the leagues. You know what I'm saying? Yep. It's every, everybody is. It's like tapping in and, and sharing platforms. Right. Um, right. But we've been doing this. Three, everybody been, you know what I mean. Before yeah. there was kings and queens, there was bullpen versus queen of the ring. Don't That's forget. A fact. That's a fact, though. That's a fact. That's we've fact. been doing this. We did uh -huh. bullpen versus battle academy. Right. You know what I'm saying? We did bullpen versus trenches. It might be yeah, bullpen yeah. over Philly right now. I ain't gonna lie. We, <laughs> <laughs> we <laughs> the whole league in Philly, huh? What's going on? So we we've been doing that. But anything I've ever done, I've never got offended by people doing stuff after I do it because. It's, it's called trailblazing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's called mm. it's called setting a trend. Like when I started bullpen, I knew everybody was gonna start coming to Atlanta. Mm. I didn't have no issue. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's not because niggas not didn't come to Atlanta after the bullpen. Or niggas didn't come to Atlanta. I was helping. I was helping leagues get venues. Mm. I helped you. URL get oh. venues. I helped. Mm. I helped RBE get venues. I helped. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You know what I mean? I found the blue room. <laughs> <laughs> like, so I I, I I never looked at anything like competition because we could all this is this is one right. culture, you absolutely. Know I mean? And I know I bring something that I can't no other league bring, and other mm. leagues might have something that I can't bring. You know what I mean? So mm. that's why we need to come together as one culture, and everything would be cool. We compete with the product, man. You feel low, so A Ward. How you think they both of them feel about battling a Tay Rock around the same weekend? Uh uh, I, I could see a war. I could see a war not feeling that. Mm, I didn't um, want to say it, John. I didn't want to say it. I, didn't yeah, say I could see a war not feeling that, but at the same time, it's like, ain't no point in getting mad. What do you get mad at? If anything, it's like, I right, it could weaken Tay Rock. You got a better chance to, to you know, what I mean, depending on how Tay Rock perform, or, mm. or like, you know, you got you got to focus on your battle. I think Ward is frustrated that Tay Rock is taking the, a lot of these battles. I think he's, you can just tell by the tweets, only going off tweets and the back and forth he has with Tay Rock online. Because it comes off disrespectful. It's like, dog, you about to battle me and you taking all these battles. Like, it comes oh, off man. disrespectful, but fuck being frustrated. A Ward should just get pissed off and then, you know what I mean? And, and show why. Because now, what, what if what if Tay Rock walks through A Ward? It's gonna look like he's nothing because he just battled ninety seven times in two and a half weeks. So well, well, look, on, the, on the flip side, he was not battling anybody till Tay Rock. I mean, yeah, he's I mean, chilling on the bench, which he never does. John, you know, you you're a student, you watch everything. Also, he's never to, had this time off where this layoff that he's had, where he, he told me three a month ago, I'm just focused on Tay Rock. I don't want nobody but Tay Rock. Yeah, I mean, that's tough. That's tough. I mean, sometimes just just I'm gonna say this: just because you prepare early doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna have better material. 
Yeah, no, fair enough. Fair enough. And, and, and a lot and a lot of people come up with better shit when it's closer, when they in that pressure. When they I've heard that. I've heard when that they, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people do that. Now there is some people that do get better with sitting down and but those are the people that's used to that. A Ward has been on go. <laughs> He's been on go. Yes, yes. So now yeah. to sit down, this is different for him. You know what I mean? This is because certain shit, like if I start writing two months out, the material I write two months out, when it's a month left, mm -hmm. that material might be old to me. I might not mm -hmm. feel the same way about it. Mm -hmm. so, but when niggas is take, when they, when they can start writing like the week of because they got two battles back to back, they not overthinking it. You got too much time to overthink sometimes. You know what I mean? So, right. um, so yeah, they, this could be this could be a great thing for A Ward, or it could just be you know what I'm saying like you just never know. John, but, um, educate me, educate me, a battle rapper. Could it frustrate A Ward if you have this big time off and you have this whole time off to battle Tay Rock, right? And he's battling on a frequent basis, but you lose. We're having all that time off. Can that be frustrating you know, mentally? Yeah, how, no, it, how, because you think about it. He's already pissed off. He already feels disrespected. Mm. And then when you feel disrespected, you're not, some people might like deep down question themselves. Like I question myself at certain mm. times, right. but that helps me step up. Anytime gotcha. I've ever questioned myself, y'all got the best performances out of me. Mm. You know what I'm okay. saying? So right. he might be questioning himself. And then imagine questioning yourself and then when the battle happened, it don't go your way, and you get that answer. Mm. <laughs> you question yourself and got that answer, like you wasn't ready regardless. That could hurt. That could hurt. You know what I'm saying? Um, that, that could hurt. Like this loss to Tay mm. Rock could really hurt A Ward because then it's going to look like, dog, I, right, you've been, you been cooking, then you started getting these big matchups that the A verb, the big K's. Yeah, you know real what I'm saying? Like, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? You've been making this campaign for however long. You kill anybody. You don't need to go through this process or anything. Now you got Ooh. Yeah. It's, it's, time, it's time to show up. Um, One more question. Are you in Calico? How, how excited are you for this one? Um, the Wizard, man. Wizard, now. Yeah, it's like, I feel like this three, like, this battle with Calico is like something to prove to myself. Um, like, you know, like I watch, I watch battles now and the more I watch battles, it's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't want to say it. Like, it's like, oh man, <laughs> everything, like I, I get confused <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> right? When people will go crazy, I hype up certain shit and I watch it and I don't get as hype as, they saying and then it makes me go like okay am i that out of touch like i don't am I know bucket? am i bucket? yeah am i that out of touch i don't know what's fire no more like y'all still falling for these same transitions and same set like y'all still falling for this like this is it, it's, it's like it, it makes you scared to be innovative and try anything new because everybody's falling for the same shit mm -hmm. and another motivation for being cal is People like, oh, John John and Cal got cool. The intensity ain't like it yes. was. And yes, that's true, certain too. shit like that. All of that is true. But that, You're Arsenal, that's, you and Calico, you and Charlie Clips, you and DNA. Yeah, I think it, yeah so it's like, I, I, that's my motivation, too, because after all of this time, I don't want me and Calico to just be a regular battle. It's just a battle. Mm -hmm. Okay, it happened. It's over. Everybody move on. Mm -hmm. No, this need to settle in. This needs to be like some type of example being made. You know what I mean? Like it has to be. And I got to, me, I got to go to a certain level. You know what I mean? I want to go a level beyond what y'all seen with me and Easy. And this has it. nothing to do with Calico. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? This mm -hmm. is just, it's perfect that it is him, another top 50 legend. You know what I mean? Midwest, Mount Rushmore type. It, it, like, it, it's perfect that it is him, and mm -hmm. we do have the history. But it's been too many blogs and videos and shit like that with Calico saying he will fuck me up and all yes, this. Yes, so he, he's, 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 he's spoken about you. He's, he's called you out a couple times more than you probably yeah. called him out. To be honest, though. If yeah, shot so, guys, shot. All, all of that keep playing in my head. Like the time he told Surf, "Oh, you beat John John, so what?" Mm. 
so what? Like, so this type of shit is like, all right, I got to right. make that statement right there because that's still online somewhere. I got to make that look stupid because mm -hmm. there's people that will watch that and feed into that. But if the battle was out and they could watch John John kick Calico ass, this statement going to look crazy. That statement going to look crazy. You know what I mean? So I, I, I got to ask you about two individuals, man. There's one brother that he's hell bet. John, he wants you. He wants a battle with you badly like he's on that snake eyes snake eyes want you bro hold on, hold on. all right hold on. good brother you said snake eyes yeah snake eyes want you yeah he want that battle john he wants that one yeah snake eyes is on the suicide mission man he's on the suicide you mission. Blame, I, don't blame, I, don't blame, I don't blame snake eyes for wanting to smoke with you nigga. i don't blame him at I all i don't i mean i don't blame him either because Another loss for him is just gonna be another loss. He's been racking them up, so it ain't like it, it. Like I don't, I don't blame him because niggas that call me out really be niggas that don't have nothing to lose. I'm just being real. So you don't really get credit for calling out a killer when you are trying to die. Like you, like I don't. Like, it's backwards. Like I, I don't get it. Like no, no, it's nothing. Snake eyes. I think snake eyes. Will, snake eyes will piss you off to the to the point. Well, I, I don't want to say Jack Boyish almost, but to the sense where it's almost there where he'll push your buttons and shit, John. He will push um, your buttons. I, I will hope I will hope that. Like if me and Snake Eyes get locked in, I will hope he does he that. Would. But he, yes, he would. I don't think he could though. I don't think he could. I don't think he could because Snake Eyes will say anything to try. See, I watch a lot of Snake Eyes because I'm a fan of Snake Eyes. You too. I, 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 Snake I see you. Snake Eyes on a live or face off or any. I, I gotta watch, tune in. I, watch, I gotta I, tune in. You know what I mean? So I'm watching him. Yeah, you know what I mean? So he would really say anything and it's just like for 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 a nigga to say i gotta feel like you know better and then you say some left field shit for it to get me mad but snake eyes don't know any better you know what i'm saying like if surf couldn't get under my skin how the mm. fuck is snake eyes going to surf mm. got the, the stats and you know what i mean certain shit the what is Snake Eyes really going to say to me to make me feel like he's just going to say, yo, John John, I'll smoke you, and I'm supposed to get mad at that? That's like that's like a midget telling me, yo, John John, I'm taller than you. I'm, I'm that's what you're Oh, if I'm Snake Eyes, oh, it's I'm up. I'm supposed if to argue with eyes, the midget? My nigga, if I'm Snake Eyes, then I hear you make that comment. Am I supposed to argue you. with the midget, three? If, do I argue with the midget or not? No, you don't. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that, my nigga. Don't do that, bro. Right? Do do that, right? do I argue with the That's midget. That's a low blow, my nigga. There's nothing Snake Eyes could do with me. And I wouldn't be talking like this had you not been calling me out. But the truth is the truth. You want to put yourself in that seat. We mm. going, all right, bro, you can't. Nah, Snake, like, you shouldn't have. I'm your. Snake is my nigga. He going to tell you the same thing. Right. right? Hey, so hey. it's like. When, when, when niggas that I fuck with get to calling me out, I, I feel like, damn, I, I feel almost disrespected in a way. So now I can't really, now I'm going to be real. Like, now I'm going to be real. Like, I felt the same way about Truefoe. Like, Truefoe, why is you doing all of this, bro? Like, Truefoe? You, you got niggas, yeah. listen, you got Snake Eyes, Truefoe, and Fonz. Them three niggas want you right now, bro. Them three niggas want Fonz, too. Fonz the only one that can kind of talk to me. I'll just fight. Yeah, Fine's the only one. And the Chef Treasure is goody. I like that. Uh, I can't. I can't. Uh oh. Uh oh. You might come out. Come on and come back in, John. I'm gonna, I ain't gonna keep you too long. If you can hear me, I don't know. If you can hear me. Let me see if you come back in, man. Hold on. Let's get in. Let's, let's get John back in. Hold on. I do want to see John John and Fonz, y'all. I, I, I wouldn't mind seeing John John and Snake also. I want to see what Snake would do in a battle like that. Not just the promo, of course. Hold on, let me get John John before I put up here. Hold on. Yeah, John. Are you a Fonz? Is that something you entertain? I can't hear you. My, you can't hear me? Oh, shit. Hold on, nigga. Come on and come back in. Ah, oh, hold on. Let me get Snake. Let me get Snake right now. Hold on, hold on. Let me get John John back in this mug. Oh, fuck yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get him back in. Okay, let me see something. You good? Yeah, yeah, we good. Right, yeah. So, Fonz, is that something you entertain? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Fonz is a, Fonz is a nigga I get impressed by. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Watching him rap. Like, that's all he got is just raps. and just, He's nothing to see, but he's something to listen to. You know what I mean? So, no, what's up with you, my nigga? If I, if, I, if, I, if I battle Fonz, I got to bring the show. I got to go above and beyond and bring the show. He's going to rap and do his, his part, like his little, you know what I mean? But but his bars is like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. His, his little punches. <laughs> the little punches, though. Yeah, his little, his, little, his little punches is cute, man. His little punches is cute. And hey, what about but, you, folks? True foe, I, I like true foe energy. I like watching true foe, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I, I like, you know what I mean? I like, and true foe, true foe's a good nigga, man. He a real nigga. Like, I fuck with true foe. Yeah, I fuck with boss, my guy. But we talk about rapping, man. That nigga cannot rap with me. I don't understand how John John ends up in the same conversation with true foe. I don't understand how anybody's letting true foe say he could rap better than John John. We ain't like, I don't, I don't get it. I don't, I don't. You know what I'm saying? It just doesn't add up. So I was highly offended when I heard True Folk say that. Like, bro, what? <laughs> what? He's going to go for you, right? He's going to hear this. And he wants to do. Yeah, like, what? <laughs> Let's go off. We're going to go off on the truth? <laughs> you uh, crazy. You True yeah. Folk, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. John, again, we got April 26th. Yeah. Uh, two rounds, twerk, clone, you and Calico, Gwinnie, Super Black, T-Top, Chef Trez, Arsenal, Bad News, and Loso, and T-Rock. Battle Rap Gods, please let everybody be there. Battle Rap Gods, please give us Oh, the they going to be there. For sure. For sure. They going to be there. All right. John, I appreciate you, King. As always, brother. Oh, I'll be in the building. You know that. My brother.